Hello, welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here with, oh, Final Girl. That was kind of obvious, wasn't it? <coughs> We're going to have Gepetto on Maple Lane. He escaped the circus. We are set up with a quiet place. We have our victims out. We have our killer out. And we don't have our final girl out. That was not very good. Yeah, final girl goes there. Okay, I am keeping the cards off the table. Uh, hoping to make this a little bit cleaner look. Because I'm never good with cards. <laughs> and keeping them clean. So... Let's go ahead and let's play Final Girl. Okay, our first action is, of course, focus. We definitely need to focus here. We only have two dice. And we get one, so that's pretty good. We will lose one time, because that was already on the on the board. It, it, it really was. And we will go on ahead and lower the horror level by one from four to three. We will go on ahead and focus again. And we get it one more time. So we lose another time. Reduce it one more. And we are going to... Do our event card because we forgot to do the event card. Friendly neighbors, roll plus one when we. Oh, wow. Oh, by the way, I have my. All the event cards that I used are not in the deck. So these are all new event cards that I have not used on camera before. Yeah, on camera. Okay, we are not going to do a weak attack. We're going to move. We're just going to do one little walk. I don't know where I'm going to walk to yet. I'm thinking into the house. And we get one success. We get to move one. And one. That gives us three times. That will be the end of our turn. We will, of course, buy a... Search and a convince. I really want to have a focus. Okay, that is the end of our turn. There's our planning phase is now over. Move this back up to six and we move to the killer phase. He gets a puppet. And moves closest to the nearest one. He hacks, but there's nobody to hack, so this is good. Okay, and we get a first terror card. It's too quiet. Figures. Move closer to the final girl. And he moves closer to the final girl by two. One, two. And if the killer's in the same space as you, tear level up by one. He is not in the same space. That is the end of... Oh. Nobody killed, so nobody has to run away. And that's the end of turn number one. Now time for turn number two. But first, a word from... Never mind. Turn two. Turn number two, we are going to search. And we have one success. Take the top item card of your space. We are on the southwest. We get a crucifix. Discard to ignore any horror level increase or end enemy's movement when they're in an adjacent space. Okay, that's probably a good thing. 
That's the end of the search turn. We get the walk back. I'm not going to do anything else. Because I really don't have anything else to do. Um, I could walk. But I'm not going to. We did lose the one time on search. So we have five points to spend. Obviously, I am going to take a distraction card. I wish I could have two distraction cards. And... A sprint card, plus we get all of our old cards back. So we have a grand total of six, seven, eight, nine. I am going to take the other search card instead of the sprint card. Killer phase. We spawn another puppet. The puppet moves closer to a victim. And the killer kills a victim. Or level up by one. We then go on ahead and do a terror card. If there are no victims on the board, discard. Otherwise, draw the next... Discard and draw the... Otherwise, raise terror by one. Move twice and kill another victim. Well, good news. She's not going to panic. That's the end of... Oh, ha. Ha, ha. This is getting out of control. That has got to be taken. That's why I bought the distraction. Okay. So, that's the end of the killer turn. There's no panic phase. And, let's go to turn number three. Okay, first thing we're going to do for... First thing we're going to do, of course, is distraction. All right. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. We gain two time. Reduce horror level by one, two. Perfection. Okay. Now we go to focus. Wow. That's nice. Down to two. Plus two time. We're doing good. And we're going to focus a second time. There we go. We got one success, one partial. Um, we will turn the partial into a full success. Don't know if that's really worth That's a change of three. So I move up by two. Reduce this down to one. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to walk. And we get a third die, greatly improving our odds of getting a success. Okay, one and two partials. So we will take the one success, we will move one space for one time. We will then use and we will do the convince action to move into the adjacent house. Two success. Enter an adjacent house. Bummer, that means we have to search still. Okay. That was a very productive turn. We still have walk and search left. We will definitely do a search. Definitely do a search there. Here we go. Okay. Double success. Uh, take the top two cards. Northwest. One, two. Ooh, bicycle or knife. Ooh. Right? But nobody's outside. That's the problem. There were people outside.
I am going to take the knife and leave the bicycle. That is the end of my turn. And we have 11 to, oh, 10 to purchase with. Excuse me. Uh, we want a convince and a search. That's three. A sprint takes us to five. Distraction to eight. And guard to 10. So we ended up with search, convince, sprint, and distraction and guard. So that will be our hand for next turn. We are doing quite well at this point. But as everyone knows, this game can change on a dime. And we go to the killer phase. Spawn the third puppet. Puppets move to the closest, which would be one here, one there, and, oh, this is not good. Yeah, yeah, that's what they would do. Okay, so we go on ahead and we take a new terror card. Victims in or adjacent to Capetto spaces are killed. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The Smallies place two special victims. Molly's house. Wonderful. Lose heart if you are adjacent to Capetto. Okay, good. You may reduce the damage for one for each walk or sprint action you discard. If no victims were killed and you did not take damage, resolve the next tarot card. Hey. There's nobody in his space. There's no reason to panic. Oh, and this one moved out. And we move on to the next turn. Turn number four. Okay, I'm thinking I should have taken the bicycle at this point. Because I need to rescue everybody here. Plus one of those two. So, my first action is going to be to walk. Okay, we have a double success for one time. We get to move one space. We gain one. Reduce terror level by one. That's actually a good thing. We then go on ahead and... I don't have enough running. I'm missing... Oh, I should have bought two sprint. Oh, well, I'm sorry, we get to move there, okay. Now we get to use the Convince card. So the good news is... Okay, enter adjacent, you may take the top item if you do make... Uh, mark it with, oh. I forgot to mark them with X tokens, and I don't know where my X tokens are at. I put the X's out, so let's roll for convince. We enter the adjacent house. You may take the top item. If you do, mark it with an X, and that is Southwest. Discard to re-roll any or all of your dice. Nice. Okay, and we put the X in here. And next, we're going to sprint. 
because I want to get everybody to hear. There's two spaces, one time. One, two. 